Good morning, afternoon, or night, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, whatever time it is. I finally am getting around to it. This is a, uh, I estimate it to be a hundred year old piece of wood. Got it out from an old cabin out west. Yeah, I know, it's got a nice patina on it, but it's an incredibly rough cut. Got these really coarse, jagged saw marks on it. And I'm not entirely sure what wood it's made out of, but it is incredibly old. Plank that made up a large wall inside this cabin that has uh, kept a fairly watertight roof for this entire time. Anyway, so we're measuring like just shy of nine feet long. And it's just under 11 and three quarter, like 11 and five eighths. Just under an inch thick. So it's a one by 12, I'm guessing that's just shy of nine feet long. It's cool in itself, but it is still just a plank of wood, a very rough plank of wood. And now I know people are gonna probably hate me for this, but I'm going to plane it down, uh, get all this roughness off of it, and try to make it into a workable squared piece of wood that I can actually build something out of. I understand that this is, you wouldn't want to mess with something this old. It's really cool, just the rustic look of it to begin with. But to me, I want to make something more functional with it, not just like, some rustic looking piece of furniture or something. I want to make like a Bluetooth boom box or something, or you know, a frame to a, a computer monitor or something like that. And um, just can't do it with something this rough. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, gonna plane it down and see what we get. Here we go. This is the first pass, I already did anything. I mostly got right up here. These lighter bits there, just barely nicked those, so. Take a little bit at a time since this is pretty much just as wide as the whole planer, so. We'll take it just a little bit. I'm gonna do this a quarter turn, which is like a 64th of an inch. So just take it that, maybe even an eighth turn if it really seems like it's having a hard time with a quarter turn. Uh, what would that even be? 128th inch each time. Shush. The vacuum hates me. All right. I made a few more patches and really started to uh, get biting into it, such as around this knot here, and just little bits here and there. Kind of a slow start, but we're getting there. All right, let's keep going. Man, that last pass was uh, pretty difficult for that one. I didn't like that one. Uh, typical DeWalt planer. My dad has the exact same one. I remember growing up uh, with that planer. Anytime we plane anything, right at the end here, right where it pops out, it always cuts more into the last couple inches of whatever you're planing. Um, which is okay with this one, I guess. There is nail holes on them. I'll likely cut this piece off anyway. See, there's a crack there. The other side's actually in worse condition, so maybe I ought to flip it around and do it so the other end's coming out the towel. Right, because the other end doesn't have that. Yeah, I'm going to flip it around. We're, we're pretty much cutting the entire width of the plank now. Because of that, I'm going to do a 128th inch with each pass, just so that it can handle it. Check 
my vacuum. It's probably full now. No, but I got a lot clogged on the filter. That's not good. Pretty much getting there. There's a few more spots like here. This is going to take a few more passes to do. The blades come around and cut. It's a big cylinder, like big cylinder, basically with blades all the way across in it. And it comes down, and it just cuts across the entire face of it. So it's working against the grain here, and it's not liking that. And then we got another spot down here, not quite as bad, but maybe the. Yeah, here we got some chipping going on. That's right there. At some point, it's like, where do I stop? You know, I'm going to plane it down so it's so thin. I kind of want to have it keep its thickness a little bit here, too. So, this is this here looks like it's going against the grain here. Maybe I ought to flip it around again. Maybe how I had it originally was a better way to go. Just have it cut with the grain better so that it cuts smoother. Well, this is uh, turning out to be one stubborn piece of wood. And within one pass already, this is looking better. Still need to go over a couple more times. But it just depends on what part of the plank you're looking at. Here, the grain goes with the blade. Here, it does not. It goes against. <laughs> Up here, right here, goes with it. But then right over here, it goes against. So it's kind of got to just pick your battle. At some point, I'm just going to have to just call it good, I think. A little bit here going against the grain since I flipped it around. And then here, didn't even notice this. Now it's going against it there. Uh, I'm going to try one more thing. So I was making a quarter, or not even a quarter, but an eighth. So like here, just there's an eighth turn. I'm going to have to do a sixteenth turn, just a little bit at a time and make more passes. So it's not cutting as much wood out of the way with each pass. And that might help with chipping. Just trim a little bit off instead of more. So I'll try that a few times, see how that goes. Okay, I'm taking a sixteenth of a turn with the handle each time, which uh, drops it down very little. If I were to plane it down to nothing, it would take 128 passes doing a, an eighth turn every turn. So now I'm doing it one sixteenth, so I think that would be one two fifty six of an inch. So a quarter thousandth of an inch each pass. At this point, I'm just kind of getting impatient, and I've only done the one side. I might just leave this for now. And uh, it's not going to be perfect. The planer does leave, like right here, there's kind of like a line left by the, the blade. You're going to get, just get those. You're going to have to sand that out. But, you know, just try to get it fairly square and smooth, just so that you can work with it and make something out of it. That's what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. Definitely like a night and day difference. Here's a... Uh, all right. Okay, so this has kind of got some marks made on it or left on it from being smushed down and rubbed against the bottom of the planer. But here's a, a pretty much a before right here. Oh, there are nails in it. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, check thoroughly. Check for anything metal. Like there, jeez. Oh, as I was saying, here's the before, and here's the after. Okay, the nails don't go all the way through. Thankfully. Thankfully. This is not even my planner, I'm borrowing it. <laughs> I'd hate to ruin the blades on it. And uh, yeah, just one nail will do that. I'm glad I started on the other end. Okay, alright. Thoroughly check for any nails or anything metal. 
We are too far in there to really grab it with the claw of a hammer. Let's try a big screwdriver with a hammer. There we go. Oh man, yeah. Thank goodness these are so short. Just set it there. So they're not very long at all. They didn't go all the way through, thankfully. But geez, that could have, even that one now, just one of them could have messed up the blade. What that would do with the blades exactly, and say, okay, there's one nail now. If I passed it through and that nail head's still there, the blade's gonna hit it, and, it's gonna, and that nail head will chip the blade just in that one spot. So then it doesn't plane smoothly anymore. You're gonna have like the opposite of a groove. You're gonna have like a little bump that'll be like a line all the way down whatever you're trying to plane. And uh, you'll never truly be able to plane it. You'd have to just replace there's, I believe, three blades in it, so you have to replace all of them because it would likely chip all of them. Okay, looking down on the bottom here, there's a staple. Like this, the nails, the staple. I'm sure they have stories behind it. Like the one nail I pulled out had like some really old looking paper stuff like underneath it. So, I'm thinking those nails must have held like a who knows what. They, somebody nailed a piece of paper on there sometime. Okay, staple removed. So I looked around the rest of it, can't find anything. Let's uh, get on with it. We're gonna flip it over and start with this side. So I'm gonna have the camera just on the tail end so you can watch it come out. Sorry I didn't think of this until now, but I'm going to do an overhead shot where you can see it coming in before and then coming out after. So you can kind of just see what, it, what each pass is actually doing. Um, there's obviously a lot more planning I need to do, like here, to get this moved out more, I need to plane it some more. But I'm thinking this one piece of wood is not going to be just one project. It's going to be several. So I'm thinking as I measure out what I need for each project, I'll cut off with the table saw and figure it out from there. And then, you know, if I need more planing done, I will do more planing with the smaller pieces. But until I cut it up into smaller pieces for different projects, you know, as I, as I build those projects, I'm just going to leave it be as is I'll plane and cut the sides off with the table saw as needed and um, yeah so some things I just don't know I'm going to get rid of like I have to plane down a lot to get rid of this this is like it's so old and so dry that th clear down in here it's even been splitting apart and flaking up so and then somebody at some point took like I don't even know what like stabbed it a bunch of times with a knife so <laughs> All of this is like, it doesn't, I'll have to plane it until there's almost nothing left to get rid of those. So obviously that's not an option to, to do that. Those have to be there. Uh, but that's okay. This will probably be the inside. If I was going to make like a box, this would be the inside of it. And obviously try to avoid holes or unless there's some reason I can make a hole work for me. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked it. If you like seeing a hundred year old pieces of wood being planed down to look much nicer, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And um, I'll definitely share, uh, share more videos as I make projects out of this piece of wood. It's pretty exciting stuff. It smells old, just old, abandoned, old, oldness. <laughs> That's how the whole garage smells like right now. So. 
It's definitely awesome. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.